Hey guys, I'm Rashmi, a student of GMC Nagpur, and today I'm gonna deal with one of the important topic of upper limb anatomy, that is radial nerve. Starting with this topic, we are gonna deal with the four aspects. First will be its root value, then the course, it branches, and lastly the clinical aspect. So the root value of radial nerve is ventral rami of C5. 2C8 and T1 spinal segments. Next, course. Radial nerve is the thickest branch of brachial plexus. It lies against the muscles that form the posterior wall of axilla. So there are three muscles that form the posterior wall of axilla. First is subscapularis, next is teres major, and the last one is latissimus dorsi. So these three muscles, the uh, nerve lie against these three muscles and then it enters the lower triangular space. This is the lower triangular space formed by the long head of triceps brachii, teres major muscle and the shaft of humerus. Leaving the lower uh, triangular space, the nerve then will enter the radial sulcus. Here, the nerve lies between the lateral and the medial heads of triceps brachii muscle. With the long head and the lateral head of triceps brachii forming the roof of the radial sulcus. Proceeding from here, the nerve will leave the radial sulcus by piercing the lateral intermuscular septum and then it will lie between the two sets of muscles the brachialis muscle being on the medial side and brachioradialis along with extensor carpi radialis longus on the lateral side. From here, the nerve will then enter the cubital fossa. Radial nerve being the lateral most component of the cubital fossa, here the nerve terminates into the deep division and the superficial division. The deep division passes in between the two heads of supinator muscle. Then it further giving the branches of all the extensor muscles of the forearm ends in pseudoganglion. Talking of the superficial division, it passes through the forearm on the lateral aspect, reaching the posterior lateral aspect and then uh, ending by giving the cutaneous supply to dorsum of hand. Here we are done with the course of the radial nerve. Next we are going to study the branches, the muscles that are supplied by this nerve. So one thing you must know that is radial nerve is the nerve of the extensor compartment of upper limb. Radial nerve is the nerve of extensor compartment of the upper limb. The extensor compartment in the arm is comprised only of triceps brachii muscle. While in the forearm, we have this much muscles in two sets. One is the superficial muscle and the next one is the deep muscles. Superficial muscles include these seven and deep muscles include these five. Now, along the course, as we studied the course of the radial nerve, accordingly we will go for the branches of the radial nerve. Firstly, in axilla, it gives two branches, one supplying the long head, other supplying the lateral head of triceps brachii. Next in radial sulcus. In radial sulcus, it will give two branches to lateral and medial head of triceps brachii. Also here, it will give one branch to anconius. So anconius is supplied from here. Next we told that leaving the radial sulcus, the nerve passes in between the two uh, sets of muscles. So the lateral most being the brachioradialis and extensor carpi radialis longus are served here only. And the medial one that is brachialis are given the proprioceptive fibers. Coming to the cubital fossa, the nerve here will give again two branches supplying the extensor carpi radialis brevis and ex uh, supinator muscle. After leaving the cubital fossa, uh, uh, as we know that the uh, nerve divides into two, that is deep division and the superficial division. 
deep division will supply now the rest of the muscles okay that is extensor digitorum extensor digiti minimi and extensor carpalinaris next is abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and extensor indices so what we told us at the level of radial sulcus and corneus is supplied after that uh, brachioradialis and extensor carpi radialis longus is supplied after that in the cubital fossa brevis and supinator is supplied after that the deep division will supply the rest of the muscles okay next after this muscular uh, branches we will talk about the cutaneous ones so deep muscles have deep uh, division have supplied these um, muscles okay now the cutaneous innervation the superficial division will supply the lateral uh, half of the dorsum of the hand and lateral two and half digits till the distal interphalangeal joints now again three uh, cutaneous uh, branches are given one is the lower lateral cutaneous nerve of arm next is posterior cutaneous nerve of arm and the third one posterior cutaneous nerve of forearm as per their name they will supply the uh, area over the upper limb lastly we will talk of the clinical aspect of radial nerve radial nerve is very commonly damaged at the radial sulcus uh, basis of the cause we have three paralysis first is saturday night palsy suppose a person is uh, sleeping over a armchair with its limb hanging over the side of the chair so the pressure may cause uh, damage to radial nerve here if this pressure is due to a crush it will be known as crush paralysis last one is the wrist drop there is fracture in the shaft of the humerus radial nerve may get damaged and this will uh, cause uh, loss of the extension at the wrist and uh, this person will uh, face difficulty in gripping objects because uh, there will be no synergic actions of extensors at the wrist so this was all about the radial nerve next my video will be on axillary artery thanks for watching